Hi, I'm Paul Holmes, Chairman of the All Volunteer Oral History Project at the Surfing Heritage Foundation. You know, surfers love to tell stories about their favorite surfboards, about the great waves they've ridden, and about the special friends they've made along the way. Oral histories illuminate and inform about the historic and rare surfboards that are part of the collection, and about the photos that are in the archive too, through the actual voices of those who were there, riding the waves, surfing the boards, telling their own tales in their own words, laying down layers of surfing lore and legend for future generations to marvel at. Just south of the Newport Beach Harbor entrance in Orange County is Corona del Mar, one of the very first surf spots known in Southern California. Waves don't break at Big Corona like they used to nearly a hundred years ago when Duke Kahanamoku gave surfing demonstrations there. But there are still a few surfers around who remember surfing Big Corona in the 1920s and 1930s. They just had good surf all the time until they built the jetties and put the rocks in. Right. Put the rocks in a long time, but they built just the cement jetty was there, and it's still there. And that kept you from surfing out there. And when the winds blow up a surf way, way, way out, they might be up, you know, they, I've seen them up 10, 12 feet high. But, uh, <clears throat> or, now, or there'd be riffles, what we just called riffles. They're a wave, but we called them a riffle because they weren't a wave. I mean, they would only be like that. And to get a wave that comes in and goes, you know, the back of the board rides up and the point gets underneath the water just a little bit and it's down. You can't get it back up again. It's down. And it goes down and then it'll shoot back up in the air again. And then you go down in the bottom and stay there until the board, you know, the board isn't going to hit you. You got to do that and kill you. <laughs> <laughs> and then they dredged the bay. Then when they dredged the bay, that ruined everything. Real surfers, real surf stories. That's what the Oral History Project of the Surfing Heritage Foundation is all about. And you don't have to be a professional journalist or videographer to get involved. We welcome surf stories from people that you may know. You can film a surf story or record a surf story for the Oral History Project on your home video camera, or on a digital audio recorder like this, or a simple micro cassette recorder. And we've developed a field guide that's a step-by-step -step manual on how to do it and how to do it easily. So get involved, record some surf stories, and send them in. If you'd like to support the work of the Surfing Heritage Foundation, contact us at surfingheritage.org.